guys. <laughs> hey guys, I'm Alexa Mendez, and this is the Weekly Watcher for Friday, February 20th, 2009. The cool news came hard and fast over the past week. Let's see. Hmm. We announced that the Marvel Superhero Squad animated series will air on Cartoon Network later this year. We unveiled the free six-page Gettysburg Distress digital comic on Marvel.com. And we showed off some new photos from May's X-Men Origins Wolverine. Ooh, Bubby. Nick, I can't forget to mention the onslaught of new episodes of the Mighty Marvel podcast released this week. Guests included Paul Cornell, Marjorie Liu, Daniel Wei, Jonathan Hickman, Greg Pak, Frank Thierry, Chris Jerusa, Jim McCann, and Brian Michael Bendis. Get them on iTunes or straight off Marvel.com. We also posted stories about cool celebrity fans with a new Fightin' Fanboys article featuring WWE wrestler Matt Stryker. Grr. And a new Unstable Decibels Q&A with Jeff Rickley, lead singer for the band Thursday. Time for our weekly Watcher World premiere. Yay! Yay. This episode features the debut of Reptile, an Avengers The Initiative featuring Reptile number one brings a character into the Marvel Universe in time to take on Stegron, the dinosaur man and his dinosaur army. Catch Reptile's first appearance on March 25th and see him later this year in the Marvel Superhero Squad animated series. Stag him up! It was a week of closure for Marvel Comics. The final issue of Ultimate Fantastic Four number 60 saw the team deal with the ramifications of Ultimatum. Torn apart by a massive loss, the Exiles found finality and hope in New Exiles number 18 in its last issue. And NYX No Way Home also wrapped up this week, with the sixth issue bringing Kid and Nixon's second series to a close. It's appropriate to end the show, no? Como siempre, para una lista. Oh, sorry. As always, for a full list of comics on sale, news and info on movies, video games, and toys, along with thousands of digital comics, check out Marvel.com. I'm Alexa Mendez, and this is Marvel, your universe. Marvel, your universe.